because it's a, a personal inconvenience. Then you see all these other things. Yeah. People really had to deal with some uh, issues. Luckily, today was a nice day out there for all the people, though, who had to clean up. You can at least get started. Yeah, I know my family was one of the folks up in Mason yesterday without power, without cable. So fortunately, those are all kind of minor issues compared to what some folks saw up across central Ohio with the stronger winds. But fortunately today, the winds have certainly come down and we're in much better shape out there. Now we're set for a cold night ahead. Let's have a look at temperatures right now. Most of us generally hovering close to 40 degrees, even with sunshine from start to finish today. It's still been kind of chilly by mid to late February standards. All right, you're stuck in the mid 30s already back across southeast Indiana. So you're just a couple degrees above freezing. So you know it's going to be a cold night down into the bluegrass, a little bit warmer, low to mid 40s. Most of you north of the Ohio River, generally between 35 and 40. So right now we've got the setting sun to my back in the west light west northwest breeze so those winds have finally come down again underneath clear skies here the next few hours temperatures are going to fall in a hurry for us it's going to be a cold night we'll drop into the mid and upper 30s during the dinner time hours and then slip below freezing and we'll probably be down into the upper 20s before midnight so that's what i mean by a pretty chilly night haven't said this too often so far this winter but how about finally a stretch of dry weather i think i don't see at least here in the short term this week any major weather systems to speak of, and that will be accompanied by at least a decent amount of sunshine early on. And that's what we need, especially with the swollen rivers around the area due to all the recent rains. So we've got high pressure. I like to refer to it as our weather good guy scooting across the Ohio Valley, going to provide us with some beautiful weather. As it slides off towards the east tomorrow, our winds will switch around to the south ahead of a weak storm system, and that will spell warmer temperatures for Tuesday than today, and I think Wednesday will be the mildest day of the week as we could make a run at 60, at least into the mid 50s. Here's a look at future cast. As I mentioned, not much to really show you here. We've got clear skies tonight that will allow temperatures to drop back into the upper teens and low 20s for most of us, so a very cold night. And then as we get into your Tuesday, we'll have a few passing clouds, but overall tomorrow's going to be another nice day. We should see temperatures in the mid 40s. Cold coming up on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, we'll begin to feel the effects of that next weather system. As of right now, I'm going to keep Wednesday on the drier side. You do see future cash trying to squeeze out a few sprinkles, but this doesn't look terribly significant. So as of now, with the dry air in place, I'm going to keep midweek dry as well. And that's exactly what we need because the Ohio River is out of its banks again. We were telling you this late last week. It looked like once again it would go into flood. Fortunately, it looks like it's going to stay below about 54 feet. Looks like the river will likely crest sometime tomorrow evening, just a little over 53 feet, and then kind of hover up around 53 feet Tuesday night into Wednesday, Wednesday night, and then by Thursday it should be back within its banks. So falling out of flood stage on Thursday. So a quiet forecast, not bad, kind of what we need, right? Very cold tonight, 22 for an overnight low here in the city. Partly cloudy and nice tomorrow, 45 for a high. Here's your day planner. Cold start in the morning for the kids at the bus stop in the mid 20s. We'll climb into the mid 30s around noon tomorrow and then on our way into the low and mid 40s by afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. All right, double nickels on Wednesday, 55 despite the clouds. And then again, the colder weather seems to want to come back in earnest as we head into the week. Notice we drop back into the 30s on Thursday. Mike and Sheree, I don't see any significant big snowmakers right now, mm. but my hunch is as we transition to a colder end of February and start of March, there's probably a snowmaker somewhere in there. We just don't see it yet, but a chilly weekend coming up. All right, decent ride until we get there, though, Kevin.